Ooh. Hello, true believers. So, yesterday was the 10th annual 8-hour dream endurance race, solo and relay. And this was my second year doing it. And I did solo again. And I'm excited because this belt buckle will replace this belt buckle on my belts. And I'll retire this one with my other awards I've been blessed to win. So just giving a recap of this, this was tough. Um, I say this because I'm someone who, you know, you guys know I'm an endurance athlete. I like doing insane things that people, you know, I'm always joking. Like if someone says it's a horrible idea, I'm in. So the heat from the first, you know, this race has two laps. It's a 5K lap and like a 3K lap. And the first, when the race starts, it's 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. They want everybody to do the 5K lap together, and then it sort of thins out. You can choose if you want to go the short or the long. And from the beginning, I just felt like my entire body weighed like 40 pounds extra. Um, have, being a bariatric athlete, I know I can't eat a lot. It just It'll just sort of sit there. So I did do as much nutrition as I could. I definitely make sure my wife was my Sherpa. We had our setup. Definitely made sure to drink something every lap. I understood the heat was going to be a was going to be an issue. Um, later on, it just I just was like, this is hard. And even when I'd stop to take a drink, my wife was like, well, how are you doing? I'm like, this is just hard. And she looked at me. And she's like, you don't usually say. I'm like, I know. So, you know, the whole point is if you do at least 26, every solo runner was getting a belt buckle. And then if you did it over 26.2, over full marathon, you'd get a trucker hat. And I told my wife, I was like, I'm going to be an ultra marathoner again, because this is where I became one last year. And just kept going, kept going. Had about like an hour left. And my wife was like, okay, you've done enough to get the trucker hat. And I was like, I think I could do another long loop. And she looked at me, she's like, Corey, you can't even keep your mouth closed. And she's like, I'm looking at you. Prior to the, when I left for the previous lap, there was a family who, I, who had been cheering me on as I passed them. They asked me, they said, you don't look too good. Do you need some water? I was like, no, I just left my wife, but thank you very much. So I knew I was struggling and just kept, kept at it. Um, I'm someone that doesn't quit, even when it's probably smart for me to. So stuck with it. It was that last lap. I looked at my wife and I said, she's like, I don't think you need to go. She goes, I don't know if you'll even make it back. And I took about probably half a millisecond and I said, okay. Went to go turn in my bib, you know, and did 28.2 miles. I'm happy with that because this was struggling. Um, I knew it was bad. So they let us use the field house, the Hinkle field house at Butler so we can shower afterwards. And I was like, I'm curious. I want to get on the scale when I'm done taking a shower. There was... I expect a little weight loss in situations like that, not as much as there was. And so I knew, and that's on top of the fact that as much as I did sweat, as, as crazy it was, I did hydrate at every lap and still had that weight loss. Minor victory, helping to get over or work, help myself get over, I'm not fully over it, body dysmorphia. I actually did something I've never done in a race, took the Superman shirt off. Uh, because, like, you know, you guys know I was racing the Superman shirt, has my kids' handprints in the back and their names and ages in puffy paint. I actually took it off, um, put the bib on my shorts, and just did the other half of the race with no shirt on. So it helped me tackle, I guess the heat helped me tackle some body dysmorphia. Uh, my wife was gracious. She got all the videos and pictures of, of my laps as I passed her, which was, you know, it's pretty neat to have someone cheering for you. Because this was, I, I was suffering, and this was tough. And, and even mentally, I got very confused, um, was struggling to, to figure things out, which as most runners, when you get into a race specifically, I joke, but we're all good at runner's math. We're all good at figuring out force, velocity, mass, like everything else, what our pace is going to be, how, what time it's going to be when we finish. I was struggling for everything except one foot in front of the other. Um, so... I'm happy with this. I'm actually proud of myself. It's the next day. This is why my voice, this is actually as pretty good as it sounded. Um, but like everything hurts. Everything hurts. Did I mention I'll be doing an ultra marathon then on Friday? 
uh, five days from now, but it'll be a part of a team relay. It's all night though, so we'll see how recovery goes. I think I'm probably going to try to ride my bike tomorrow to loosen up legs and take the impact off. But yeah, I mean it was tough, but I'm proud of me. I'm a two-time ultra marathoner. I did it. I did it under horrible conditions. Um, this last year, I didn't see any EMT bikes on the course. This year, there was never a loop. I didn't see them going to somebody. I saw so many people tapping out early, so I'm proud of myself. Um, thank y'all very much. One love. I'm out.